Sapling Z-Labs Timer is a digital clock with six digits that interfaces with a control panel. This control panel is wired to and powered by the clock. By pressing a button on the control panel, the user can send real-time commands to the digital clock Elapse Timer. The standard Sapling Elapse Timer control panel consists of four buttons with the following functions. Count up, start, stop, go back to time, and count down. The control panel allows the user to command a real-time count up by pressing the count up button or initiate a countdown by pressing the countdown button. Pushing the start stop button once pauses the count and a second press reinitiates the count. The time button commands the elapsed timer to return to displaying real time. Additional control panel buttons are offered as part of the optional specialty buttons kit. This is to accommodate various application needs. The optional buttons are labeled code blue, set, start, stop, reset, and there are also blank buttons available that can be labeled by the user at a later time. Some buttons are offered at different sizes. The elapsed timer control panel fits easily into a single gang box, also known as a utility box, which is typically installed in the wall. This way the control panel will be flush with the wall. The digital elapsed timer clock display is offered in wall mount housing or flush mount housing, depending on the type of clock and system used. The elapsed timer digital clocks are offered in different display sizes and with a red, green, amber, or white LED display color. Sapling offers an elapsed timer model that can interface with a buzzer accessory. This buzzer is powered by the clock and should be installed inside the clock housing. It is triggered when a countdown reaches zero. Sapling also offers elapsed timers with a relay input that allows the elapsed timer to interface with a third-party system via a contact closure. For example, a nurse call system can trigger a contact closure in the elapsed timer. This will initiate a count up without having to push any buttons on the control panel. The clock will continue to display a count up until a button on the elapsed timer control panel is pressed. Some applications require the accurate time as well as the elapsed time to be visible simultaneously. In these scenarios, Sapling recommends installing two clocks in the same room. One clock would be dedicated to showing the accurate time, while another digital clock would act as an elapsed timer. When implementing a two-display solution with digital clocks, each clock can have a different color LED display to easily distinguish between them. For example, one clock would display only the time in red, while the dedicated elapsed timer would have a green, white, or amber display. Elapsed timers are used for many applications. These applications may include monitoring and timing procedures for operating rooms, code blue scenarios for emergency rooms, during timed exams in classes, alerting the staff of a broadcast station when it's time to go back on air, time processes in manufacturing facilities, and for many other functions. For more information in regards to Sapling's elapsed timers, please visit our website at www.sapling-inc.com.